Bill Staley, number 76, began the year as a starter and continued to play up to his 1970 form. But early in the year, he was injured, and a rookie, Tony McGee, number 71, from Bishop College in Texas, became a starter and kept the job for the rest of the year. Tony McGee, number 71, had a fine sophomore season on the young, rebuilt defensive line. In the secondary, Charlie Ford, number 32, had seven the initial teams, teams to allowed the Bears' defense to write the story at Philadelphia. They allowed only 83 rushing yards. When Sugar Bear shot the gap next to the center, Craig Hanneman, number 74, looped into the open area, and a wave of red washed over the bothered and bewildered Burt Jones. An offense across the country to San Diego, where the defense was outstanding. Number 78, Tony McGee, is always capable of outstanding physical accomplishment and is fast becoming one of the more punishing and able defensive ends in the league. The Patriots limited Mitchell to 52 yards. Next, the Denver Broncos were blown away by the strong winds of a Patriot rush which downed their quarterbacks nine times. This game mirrored Patriot depth at all positions, the winningest record in New England Patriot history. Best of all, for the first time in 13 years, the Patriot season had not ended. Like the tortoise and the hare, their goal was to be there at the finish. They were the wild card with a firm grip on the playoffs. The Patriot rush line of Mel Lunsford, Raymond Hamilton, Tony McGee, and Julius Adams sacked quarterbacks 47 times. Their strategy was simple. Shove the pass pocket way beyond its normal boundaries and push quarterbacks backward in forced retreat. highest scoring teams. But the story of the day was the Patriot defense, which surrendered a club record of only 86 total yards and sacked Burt Jones five times for 53 yards in losses. On December 31st, the New England Patriots season of 78 would end in the playoffs. But there was no need to pity the Pats. New England had qualified for the playoffs by winning the championship of one of the strongest divisions in pro football, the AFC East. This is their story. This is how the East was won. With only three down linemen, defensive end pressure had to be constant, and it was. Left end Tony McGee led the team in sacks 
while right end Richard Bishop, number 64, ranked second. McGee, number 78, entered the game in passing situations to pick a quarterback's pocket. One. Chicago for week seven. The defense came up with another superb effort, holding premier runner Walter Payton to just 42 yards in greater glory. The Patriots' defensive line seemed to spend the entire season in the opposition's backfield. With nose tackle Ray Sugar Bear Hamilton, number 71, the top tackler among the defensive linemen for the second straight year. The Patriots' pass rush came on with intimidating intensity, featuring Richard Bishop, Mark Bubin, and Julius Adams. Mel Lunsford, number 72, was chosen outstanding lineman. And Tony Mack the Sack McGee, number 78, led the team in sacks for the fifth consecutive season. All season long, the Patriots' pass rushers were a relentless band from which few quarterbacks were able to escape. They came in waves of red, and the more there were, the better their chances of nailing their quarter. Against league-leading passer Joe Ferguson, the best defense was 10 sacks in two games. In all, the Patriot defense sacked the quarterback 57 times and topped the entire NFL in this important category for the second time in three seasons. Coach Meyer has three goals on defense. Pressure the quarterback. We've committed a tremendous outlay with new facilities and new equipment for our strength program. This will be somewhat new to our people, but they've also improved their speed, a tremendous deal due to their commitment to the weight program. Yeah, I think it's a must, I think. Uh... On February 2nd, 1983, a half million rain-drenched people lined the streets of Washington, D.C. to welcome home a world champion. For the first time in 40 years, Washington ruled the football world. And the NFL's Coach of the Year, Joe Gibbs, gladly shared the glory with an entire city. I don't think today could be a greater testimony to the fact that there's no other fans in the world that would come out on a day like this except in Washington, D.C. And I want you to know that each one of you has a small piece of this trophy today. Aggressive play by the Washington defense. Rushing specialist Tony McGee. While the team's leading tackler for the fourth straight season was free safety Mark Murphy. Time to pull up those shots, defense. Let's see what happens. Gets the snap. Back. Blitz is on. Check. Up the football. It's down at the 40 yard line. Looks like he's knocked out. Oh, he is out. And when they didn't get the passer, number 78, Tony McGee, did. Defensive pressure created opportunities that helped spur the Redskins' late-season push to the playoffs. 